Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for October 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Right off the bat, I want to go ahead and give a big old shout out to my Libras out there. We are officially in Libra season here in Western astrology. So ha very, very happy birthday to the Libras out there. I also want to go in and slip in a little uh, early little happy birthday to the uh, October Scorpios. Yes, happy birthday to you guys. We will be entering your season next. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that because these are general readings, the situations can go either or, okay? It can go either way. Now, I am specifically speaking to the zodiac sign in question, so mostly the message is going to be for them. But if you are cross-watcher, say, for example, or you are what you are you do have the sign that the, that is in question in the reading that you're watching and yet the story that i'm telling is flipped is vice versa then go ahead and flip it for yourself okay place it as it fits into your life but please be very careful not to place things or try and force things that don't fit into your story or your situation into the into positions because that's just going to confuse you and throw you off okay so another thing that i want to mention um uh, oh, first, actually, what I want to mention is I'm doing a little bit something a little bit differently this month. Um, I had been using the Sacred Rebels Oracle for a few months, which was doing great. But because we're now in fall and it's October, I wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, and I got the brilliant inspiration to use the Fairy Forest Oracle deck this month. And I'm really super excited for you guys to see what comes out. Because in some of these readings, they're all pre-recorded um, before I record this this intro but uh for some of these readings the oracle guidance that comes out from this deck is so spot on it's a little scary <laughs> okay um also the other thing that i want to mention especially for those of you that are new if you are new to the channel what's up thank you so much for tuning in welcome to the family but here at divine conversations we do not focus on love yes sometimes love will come out uh if necessary and I, and in no way am I trying to stop that from happening. But the general focus or the main focus here on Divine Conversations is to focus on bringing yourself into a sense of union with yourself, bringing to yourself into a sense of wholeness with yourself, and also just having a conversation with spirit, all right? So what's coming through in these messages for the monthlies, even for the dailies, if you check out Morning Coffee, the messages that come through are just a conversation. What does spirit have for you at that time what does spirit want you to know for that time period or that cycle in your life that you're going through all right with that said keep in mind that all of these readings are timeless yes so just because this is dated for the month of october it doesn't mean it has to resonate for you in october you could come across this reading in february of 2020 and beyond and it may still resonate for you okay time is an illusion and energies are fluid all right so just take it as it resonates if it resonates for you at that time then take it if it doesn't don't worry about it come back later maybe it will all right, guys. <sighs> so with that said, I think let's just get straight to it. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for October 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get straight to, into it. So we've got your uh, pre-shuffle energies here. It looks like you guys are about to start something new. Either you're about to start something new and you're feeling anxious and worried about it. Um, or you want to start something new. You want a new job, you want a new place to live, you want a new relationship, I don't know, I don't know, whatever this is. Um, it, but it's something tangible, okay? Because you have the Ace of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles, right? The Ace of Pentacles is a new start, um, you know, is, is a gift, is, is, a, is a new experience, is, uh, is something new, right? Is the impetus, is the beginning of something. The Page of Pentacles, to me, as a reader, I, I have come to see the Page of Pentacles when it's not like a new commitment, which it could absolutely, especially with the Ace of Pentacles, it could be a brand new commitment. So this could be a new um, uh, relationship for you, or it literally could be a new job, uh, just a new, a new long-term commitment for something. When it's not that, the Page of Pentacles for me is uh, an indicator of a level up. Right. So reaching a new level, whether that be energetically, maybe uh, which could mean spiritually or just physically a new sense of reality, a new understanding of reality, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever, something like that, um, that requires you to find your footing again. 
Yes, so where you were once comfortable where you were and you were an expert, could have con considered yourself a queen, king or queen of pentacles, right? Now you've graduated from that and reached a new level and now you're back to being the page, but only because you have to understand how to work in this new level. You've still graduated, you've still moved up, yes? But now you have to find it, figure, find, basically find your footing again. Okay, well, all of that is here, sure, but it may not be quite in front of you yet. You have the Four of Swords with that overall energy for this pre-shuffle, you have the Moon. And this officially in the Tarot is you, okay? The, the Moon represents Piscean energy, but also the Moon represents Cancerian energy because in astrology, the Moon is ruled by Cancer. I'm sorry, Cancer is ruled by the Moon. This could very well be a relationship. Maybe some of you, because I, I am feeling that, maybe some of you are really trying to redefine what it is you want from a relationship. U ultimately though, if it's not a relationship, because ultimately it could be a job or uh, I'm feeling specifically a place to live. I am hearing that actually. Um, ultimately, I feel like you're trying to figure out what it is you want in terms of this. Like you're in the process of manifesting it and you're not quite sure, you don't quite see it clearly, but like you're working on manifesting it. You're working on keeping your mind balanced and clear through means of meditation with the Four of Pentacles or something like that in order to allow this manifestation to come through. There might be a bit of fear, apprehension, maybe some anxiety with the moon. It can represent that. But also, the moon represents your instincts, your intuition. Okay? And needing to rely on your instincts, intuition, and emotions to help guide you to this new beginning. Okay. We're going to leave it there, Pisces. And we're going to go we'll move into the next part of your reading here, which is like the real part of it, right? <laughs> Okay, let me give this one more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got for you. Maybe some of you are trying to go to school. I don't know. I just did the Aquarius energy, uh, uh, reading and there was a lot of graduation type energy here. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just, maybe some of you are Pisces, Aquarius, Cuspers. Maybe you have Aquarius somewhere else in your chart, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. I don't know. But um, yeah, maybe you're trying to go back to school or something like that. That would be cool. Maybe even start a new business. All right, we'll see. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Pisceans, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of October 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're going to give this five shuffles. But before I do that, I want to speak on something that I picked up on also. Um, in terms of a relationship, there may be someone that wants to come forward and make an offer to you, an offer of commitment. Um, but maybe they're kind of resting on this four of swords with the moon. Uh, maybe they're fearful of it. Um, maybe they're perceiving of some blockages that are illusionary, so they're needing to like just rest and keep calm, keep their mind calm. Or you, Pisces, maybe you're the one that wants to make an offer. Or if you're not the one that wants to make the offer, maybe you're working on manifesting an offer and are in trying to stay in a meditative state, trying to work with your emotions to make sure you're clear and open for that to come through. Okay. Excellent. So five shuffles. From a Piscean's sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of October 2019. And we have a number three. Four. And five. All right, Pisces, let's see what we've got for you for the month of October, 2019. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Boop. All right. 
Overall energy, Pisces. Yes, you've got the star. Okay, Aquarian energy. So maybe some of you are connecting with an Aquarius. Maybe you have Aquarius in your chart. Um, and maybe that Aquarius energy, uh, I'm sorry, the Aquarius reading would resonate well for you. Maybe you should check that out. But also, this is the star. This is wish fulfillment, all right? So this is definitely working with the energies that I was picking up on before about keeping your mind in check uh, even though, you know, there are some circumstances around you that actually may be illusionary, like things may not be exactly as they look or seem on the surface, right? So with that four of swords energy that came out in your pre-shuffle along with the moon that was at the, was on the, um, the bottom of the deck was the overall energy. You really could be in a process of really working to keep your mind in check and keep your emotions balanced and just to continue following your inner guiding light. Because with the star here, often I see this as, because this does come after the tower, right? And after the tower falls, you're just shrouded in complete darkness. But that's pure potential, right? And then all of a sudden you get this inspiration or you see this star, this one speck of light off in the distance. And it's the only thing you can see. You see nothing else around you. And you feel like, I got to follow that star. That's guiding me somewhere. That's taking me where I want to go. You don't know why it's happening. You don't know how it's going to happen. You don't know how long it's going to take you there if we're still thinking in terms of time because time and space are an illusion. But ultimately, you know that you've got to follow that star. And that's what I'm feeling like, feeling like is happening here for you. So keeping your mind in check, Pisces, if you're doing it, excellent. Bravo. Keep doing it. If you're not doing it, you need to start. <laughs> okay? Because those illusions are just going to turn, are just going to be, are, well, they already are, obstacles in your way that are just going to block your path. All right? Wish fulfillment and healing, but also faith here. All right, Pisces? Underneath the star, ooh, you've got the king of pentacles now. Mm, is someone coming through to make an offer to you? Is this the king of pentacles that is sending out that page of pentacles with that ace of pentacles to say, hey, let's do this? Are you this king of pentacles? Are you manifesting a king of pentacles to come forward? Maybe they're an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or maybe they're just well manifested, financially stable, career wise, they're stable. Hmm. Underneath the King of Pentacles. Oh, yes. More Piscean energy. The High Priestess. Secrets. The unknown. Again, this is another reason why you have got to keep your thoughts in check. Okay. Underneath the High Priestess, you've got the Knight of Wands. Oh, now also the high priestess does talk about intuition as well. But the Knight of Wands is something real passionate coming in very, very quick. And I feel like it's an energy of like before you know it, boop, there it is, just shows up on your doorstep. And you're kind of like, it sends your head spinning. You're like, whoa, whoa, how did this happen? Whoa, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Of course you were ready or it wouldn't have shown up. <laughs> yeah. Now, this could be you, Pisces, or it could be someone that you're connecting with. And it's so funny because I was right before I started this reading, I was just thinking about the intro that I'm going to do because I, I record all the readings and then I do the intro right after I record all the readings and then I, I piece them all together and boop, there you go. But I was thinking about my intro and talking about how I don't normally do love readings, but sometimes it comes out. Well, here you go, Pisces. Looks like you're getting a little bit of a love reading right now from me. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> but also, it doesn't have to be love. It really could be anything, okay? So let's get into the rest of your reading here. First half, second half of the reading. You could look at it as the first half and second half of your month. Take it as it resonates. Flow with it. Do with it what you will. Yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. In the first half of your reading, you got... Ta! Whoa! The Nine of Swords. Yet another reason to keep that mind in check. But Pisces, I feel like you're very aware of this. Like, you know how bad your mind can get sometimes. You know how much your ego can just take your thoughts and run amok. I mean, like, fearful energies, um, 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 self-fulfilling prophecies out the wazoozle, guys. But this is why you know or you're being guided to balance your intuition with your intellect with your intuition. Balance your mind. 
You may not be giving into this nine of swords, fearful energy, but it may sure as shit be staring you in your face. And you know what? To be quite honest, we're really not ever going to get out of that until we leave the third dimension, cross for through the fourth dimension and go back and reside back in the fifth and above. Like the fifth dimension is different than the third and the fourth. We're not going to get into that, but some of you understand what I'm saying. Nine of swords is coupled with more Piscean energy. The Hanged Man, another card of official Pisces energy, right? Change in perspective, guys. You, uh, mm, okay, also, though, you might be, you might be feeling kind of stuck, kind of maybe a little stagnant right now. Doesn't feel like that's a bad thing, Pisces, because I feel like, again, I'm hearing interim. So, and I was hearing that while I was doing the Aquarius reading. So again, you really might want to check out the Aquarius reading. It really might re resonate with you. Um, but yes, it does kind of feel like you're in a little bit of a waiting period right now, Pisces, and you're really needing to keep your mind in check. But also this waiting period is serving as a, a, a spiritual training ground in which you're reaching enlightenment in terms of how to manifest, we'll say properly, okay, but you could also say how to manifest well. Staying in tune with your vibration and all and the vibration of that which you seek to manifest, the vibration of that which you desire. Also now, also, you might be in this anxious energy, this nine of swords energy, because there seems to be some sort of holdup. And it's like, what's the holdup here? Can't we just get this going? Oh my God, what's going on? What's wrong? Am I low? What's happening? There it is, Pisces. Don't worry about it. Okay? Chill. Relax. Keep your mind in check. Because going over it like that is not going to help you. It's only going to add more resistance and blockage into the situation. Instead, ease into this. I often, I like to say, especially when I first started reading cards, I like to say that the, uh, the, high, the hanged man is an energy of being in like a straight jacket or in one of those Chinese finger traps. The Chinese finger traps actually is the best way of describing it because you put your fingers in, I don't know if... I don't know if you're if you're young enough to not know. Many of you know what I'm talking about, but they're these 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 like woven traps. You put your fingers into them and they get stuck, right? And the more you pull and yank and yank and yank, the tighter and tighter it gets and your fingers can't come out. But if the trick is to push your fingers together, which opens up the 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 channel and then you can slip your finger right out, right? Straight jacket is a similar analogy in which the, the, the more you struggle against it, the tighter and tighter it seems to get, okay? You're not going to get out of it unless you relax, okay? Like take, a, take a, 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 an illusionist, for example, someone that has learned how to release themselves from uh, a straight jacket, right? They do that, in essence, by dislocating their shoulders, which I know sounds disgusting and, and, and weird, but if you can naturally do that, the only way to, to do that is to relax into it, right? So maybe right now, Pisces, you're in a lesson of learning to just fucking relax. <laughs> Not be so up in arms about it. Mm. Mmm, that's juicy. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> that was juicy too. Ugh, not in a good way. Okay. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces, in the first half of your reading here. Oh, well now we have the King of Cups. Mmm, Scorpio energy. Or you. Emotional responsibility. Someone who is very much in love. King of Cups is coupled with, ah, the Two of Swords. So either you, maybe you are this person, the, the, the King of Cups here, who is either very much in love or is very passionate about something, has a desire on their heart that wants to move forward with it, wants to pursue it, wants to take action, but is indecisive about it. Doesn't know how to do it yet. Doesn't know if they really want to do it yet, even though they're feeling this desire to do so. Doesn't know if it's the right, quote unquote, right thing to do. 
I'm, I mean, hey, I'm not here to pass judgment on that. I'm not here to decide that for you. Take it as it resonates. But there is some sort of indecision here. Someone might be, someone might be being stubborn. All right. Someone might be being stubborn in refusing to see an avenue or an option that they may have, maybe refusing to take action on what their heart's desire is. Maybe that's someone else or maybe that's you, but ultimately a change in perspective is needed here. And that's what I heard with the, when, and that's what I heard in terms of this in real, also in relation to the hang ban. Hmm. Okay. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Pisces. Ah, oh, the Knight of Cups now. This really, act, this really feels like a love reading, Pisces. I'm not going to lie. But the challenge is to send the message. To follow through with your heart's desire. To allow yourself to be vulnerable for the right reasons, I'd say. Knight of Cups is coupled with... Ooh, whoa! The tower. Oh, yeah. whoa. Um. Mm. Okay. In order for some action to happen, so for some action to be taken here, something's gonna have to be torn down. But I'm seeing the tower as tearing down the blockage here, eliminating the blockage, so that some sort of action can be taken. And that actually, that really may be what the holdup is here. The the the, the uh, the hanged man that really could be that hey that they said it when we were talking about when I was channeling for the king of cups and the two of swords I heard change in perspective in, in perspective which could translate into change in perspective is needed you could also also say change in perspective it's on the way is underway right well change in perspective brings the tower or the tower brings the change in perspective but either way, this has to do with moving forward with your heart's desire or someone moving forward with their heart's desire. Their wish fulfillment, what they dream of, what you dream of even. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Pisces, you got three of pentacles. Teamwork, working together, um, uh, self-mastery. Uh, okay, and also I just heard working with your spirit guides to take some sort of action, working with the guidance that you're giving, you're given, or you're receiving from the universe, represented here by the star and the high priestess, in order to build, in order to grow, in order to take action, in order to move. Teamwork. You're not in this alone, even though you are a single, singular individual encased in a meat sack. <laughs> okay. You're not in this alone. You do have guides. You do have the spirit that wants to help you, wants to guide you, wants to lead you. You do have a, a higher self or an inner being that is constantly calling you towards what it is you, 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 you've, uh, you've um, shot rockets of desire for. If you listen to Abraham Hicks, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But this is that teamwork. Okay, it's like the universe is saying, all right, look, buddy, you've asked me for this. Now, can you like fall in line a little bit here? Can you stop resisting a little bit? That would be nice. <laughs> I mean, I don't really care. I'm just doing my job. If you want this, then you got to get into alignment with it. I mean, shit, man. <laughs> Three of Pentacles is coupled with. Damn, look, the Ace of Pentacles again. There you go. If you want this, you got to work with us. We can only do so much to help you. And we're not gonna push you into alignment here. That is your job. I'm doing my part, man, says the universe. I am doing my part. There is no doubt about it. I can't do anything other than what my job is. And my job is to align things, is, is to take your rocket of desire and line things up so that you can receive that. But then your job is to fall in line with it. If you're asking me for it, then get in alignment with it or it's never gonna come to you. Change in perspective. Second half of your reading here, Pisces. First half, I'm sorry, first set of surrounding energies for you. You've got 
right. The seven of pentacles, a harvest. That's good. That's very good. Now, for some of you, you're learning through the contrast here. And you're in the process of figuring out or understanding what that contrast is for you throughout this period, maybe through this month. But also, I'm seeing a harvest here for you. Receiving that which you've asked for. Or is it what you've asked for? Because I feel like for some of you, you asked for something and yet you're not in alignment with it. You might be refusing to get in alignment with it. Two of swords. And so thus, in your refusal to get in alignment with it, you are sent something by the universe and now you're like, oh, well, wait a second, that's not what I wanted. Oh. But universe, I asked you for something and you gave me something else. No, actually, I gave you exactly what you were in alignment with. I heard your request, but you weren't in alignment with it, so you got this instead. Well, shit. Yeah, that sucks. But we can fix it. Just get in alignment. Seven of Pentacles is coupled with the Four of Wands. Well, union, stability, marriage, a new home. What? Receiving what you've asked for also. But see, now here's the thing, because what I'm also getting with the Seven of Pentacles is uh, uh, in terms of learning from the contrast is you experiencing the contrast, you experiencing what this situation has inspired within you is in fact helping fortify you, helping you, you gain a better foundation towards receiving more of that which you've asked for in the future. And that's why this Nine of Swords... Um, hanged man energy really might be really super important for you to go through right now so that you can learn about how to really ask for something and stay in alignment with it so that you can get it all right like really get it no if ands or buts about it no half ass no this no that no, no, no. just only what you've asked for yeah Second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. In the second half of your reading, you have, oh, the Three of Swords. What? No. What is that? Oh, what is that? <laughs> All right. Uh, three of Swords is coupled with, ah, uh, there it is, death. Excellent. And I was already kind of picking up on this, but I didn't, I wanted to, I wanted to get that other card first before I said it. What I was picking up on was the three of swords energy, any sort of three of swords energy in your life has helped you transform. And, or you are transforming, you are actively transforming through this heartbreak, this three of swords energy right now. That's what's influencing your path right now. That absolutely could be the contrast that you have learned from, that you've now shot a new ro uh, rocket of desire out in terms of, in order to get something different. But you're in the process of transforming out of some sort of heartbreak, and this is a good thing. This is a very good thing. So now part of this Nine of Swords energy up here, coupled with the, the, the change in perspective in the form of the Hanged Man, could be you straight up worst case scenarioing everything just because of what you've experienced in the past and now it's time to get out of that all right you've experienced it it was shitty it sucked it broke your heart it made you cry i don't know incessantly whatever but instead of beating that drum of oh my god this is just gonna keep happening to me this is just gonna keep happening to me instead you need to beat a new drum you need to you need to play a new beat play a new beat play a new beat okay I learned that, I experienced that. Okay, that was shit, that was shit, that was shit. But now I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, 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 gonna do this because I never want that again. So I'm gonna beat this, this, this. I'm gonna beat this, this, this. I'm gonna beat this. I'm gonna dance. I'm gonna dance to this rhythm. Not this one. <laughs> that sucks. No, I'm gonna dance to this one. Boom, boom. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm doing it. Do you understand? I am so extra right now. But it was so much fun. <laughs> but I, I, but you're getting it, right? Okay. Excuse me, that was gross. Your 
challenge in the second half of your reading here, Pisces. You've got, oh, the Three of Cups. Another union card, by the way. <laughs> what? Yes. But what I'm getting with this is the universe and spirit kind of congratulating you because now you're really starting to understand, but this is in the challenge. All right, now that was the first thing I picked up on when I saw that card. But I guess the challenge is getting to that place where now you are really working with the universe instead of against the universe. Now you're keeping, you're allowing your emotions to show you when you are or are not in alignment with that which you desire. Yes, Three of Cups is coupled with, oh wow, the Four of Cups. Okay, now the other thing I'm getting with this is it's all, there's, there's almost a sense of complacency here, Pisces. Not wanting to step out of your comfort zone. Oh my God. And that's why some of you were beating, are, you're, you're still beating the drum of past pain, only nine of swords, only to recreate that over and over and over and over. Why? Because that is what your comfort zone is. In order for you to get out of that, in order for you, the, you to get in line with the universe, and in order for the universe to be like, excellent, thank you, that's what we were asking you for, you have got to step out of your comfort zone from the three to the four. The universe is handing you something, is handing you an opportunity here, Pisces. You have got to step out of your comfort zone in order to receive that which you truly desire. And no, 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 no. It does not mean it's gonna come in the form of a specific individual. That is beating the drum of the old shit, right? We're gonna, beat a, we're gonna play a new rhythm here, kids, okay? We're gonna step out of our own way, we're gonna get in line with the universe, and we're going to get out of our own minds, right? And we're gonna beat a new drum because we learned from all that shit and it sucked. We don't ever want to create that again. So now we've got to step out of our comfort zone and really start taking control of our minds here. Okay? All right. I love you. <laughs> Closing message or potential outcome, Pisces, in the second half of your reading here, you got to. Ooh. The Six of Cups. Dare I say a soulmate? Mmm. Mmm, that's yummy. What's the name of, have any of you been watching the new, um, uh, Dark Crystal series? The name of that Skeksis that goes, mmm, that one. I just keep doing that and it's reminding me, I don't know why, it's funny. I haven't done it with anyone else except for you guys, <laughs> at least yet, so that's funny. But anyway, that was a tangent. Six of Cups is a soulmate, potentially, for some of you. Someone to align with, someone that you have aligned with. This is nostalgia, the past, potentially. Oh. Six of Cups is coupled with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles is a strong, independent individual, um, abundant, has worked very hard and is receiving the, and re is, re is and has and is received rewards for that. But your independence is going to allow you to manifest that which you desire, the soulmate that you desire, the relationship that you desire, the, I don't know, the dreams that you may have had since you were a kid. You know, that kind of thing. But, Pisces, getting into that Nine of Pentacles energy, that energy of the independent individual, the strong woman, the, the strong man, the, 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 the entrepreneur, the successful individual, right? In order for you to do that, you got to get your mind in check. Because the more you stay in this Nine of Swords energy, the more you will forever be held back from that which you truly desire. And that comes in terms of everything, not just a relationship. Okay? It's interesting because I've never seen it, really seen it this way, but I do see the Six of Cups as a, a form of wish fulfillment for you guys. So there is something here that 
that there's a, 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 either a soulmate or a relationship, maybe a divine partnership or something, some sort of desire that you've held for either a very long time or maybe as you, since you were kids, or since you were a kid, and I see you stepping into an abundant and independent energy to actually have that realized. But you gotta do the work first, okay? All right, Pisces, so let's get your oracle guidance here to close out your reading. Yield. Two more shuffles. Form a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October 2019. All right, kids, here we go. Let's see what we've got here for you. Best message, please, Spirit. Form a Pisces. For the month of October 2019. Ooh, there it is. Aww. Card number 36. Three and six boil down to a nine, which is a completion. Well, not a completion. It's an ending. Excuse me. It's an ending. Um, but we have card number 36. The Yule Singer. Rebirth. Feasting. Joy. Here we are. There are times in life when our light dims so that it seems it may go out for all eternity. But when this time comes, you are being put to a great test. If you persevere at this time, you will experience a depth of life experience that will lead you that will lead to you being reshaped, transformed, and in many ways, changed. You are undergoing such an experience at present. And this card is here to share with you that it, share with you that at such a time of great darkness and suffering, a new light will shine and bring you back to life, uh, bring you back to life, a kind of reincarnation within the same life you are now experiencing. The star. Yes. When this takes place, the Yule singer will come to you and sing to you the song of your de deepest self. You will open up with this song and begin to live again. The pain will dissolve slowly and surely you will enter into a time of joy and light while the flame of your spirit rises high once again within your soul. Expect new friendships, easy connections, fortunate moments, and growth when this beautiful card comes to you. The dark times are done with for now. You are stronger, brighter, and beginning once again a brand new, oh, I'm sorry, a bright new cycle. Sing your song. Beautiful Pisces. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of November. Y'all yeah? take care. Mwah! Bye.